Hey there, I am Shy Fox, and in this video, I'm going to show you a Clip Studio Paint tip that I feel is a game changing tip for the eyedropper tool, also known as the color picker tool. It seems to be a well kept secret that not many people know about for Clip Studio Paint, so hopefully, this is a new one with you, and I'm going to share it with you right now. So, while this is a finished painting of mine for a Draw This in Your Style challenge that I entered, I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, this was an earlier stage of the artwork. As you can see, I've got the line art and filling in some of these like flat colored bits and we need to do the hair pink. So what I have is the Instagram post here from the original artist, uh, Blood Bled Gum on Instagram. And this was their challenge that they are hosting. And what I wanna do is basically color pick from Instagram from the internet here. So let's go back to Clip Studio Paint. And from here we can go edit and there is pick screen color. Okay, so if we click that, I get the option to now pick the color from anywhere. And now we can go to our uh, internet perspective here uh, on another monitor of mine, and I can just go and click on the hair and go back to my uh, drawing and fill that in. Boom. So that tool is super, super, super useful for color picking off your monitor or off your screen. So this is a PC tip. It doesn't work for iPad. Like iPad doesn't have this option. If you click edit, there's nothing under the clear memory option. The other thing we can do under the edit menu is at the bottom is hide windows and pick screen color, which does the same thing, but on the same monitor that we're looking at. And this works good for if you only have like one screen, let's say only one screen, one monitor. So then hide and it minimizes it. And now I can color pick off of, if I had the internet behind this, it would pick it up and then I can go back. You click and then it brings you back. One more thing to go with this is it's really useful to set a hotkey. So mine is set to shift D. So if I'm just drawn along shift D, I can quickly go off screen, you know, pick my color and come back. And uh, that's pretty easy peasy. If you want to set a hotkey, just go to file shortcut settings. And then under the menu commands, you just look for, you can collapse file, look for edit, And then at the bottom of edit, uh, we just go under clear memory under that one beneath that is pick screen color. I set it to shift D and if you're with the one monitor option, you could set, you know, your key to something there. I hope that tip helps you. I've got other Clip Studio Paint tips on my channel, so be sure to subscribe and like. And also I have other art tutorials for aspiring digital artists, whether it's chibi tutorials like this artwork that I've got and lots of other things to help you on your journey. All right, have a good one, you guys. I'll see you in another video.